Yo, what's up guys? So, uh, what's today? Tuesday morning, pulled over. Wasn't speeding or anything. I don't speed anymore because I've gotten three tickets before in the past and I don't speed, but uh, they said my windshield is too dark. Um, it's only 50%. But I guess they're gonna hassle me for it. They said my side windows are pretty dark as well, um, but they're not gonna hassle me for it because that's they don't really enforce that as much as they do windshields. So um, we're gonna see what's going on here. He said I'm most likely just gonna if I can get it removed, then he's not gonna give me a ticket. So clearly I'll just do that and then just get like a visor or something like that. Um, definitely a bummer. It's not something I really want to do because tinted windshield does look good, but. It's whatever. I'm not going to pay $300 ticket or whatever the crap it is. But yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, it should be 100 coming through the front windshield. Okay. Zero percent. Yes, sir. All right, that's that's darker than most limo. You may have two layers on there. They okay. may have double stacked the layers. Okay. Okay. But you're zero percent on the sides. Okay. Which which is not legal as well. Okay. All right, guys. So if you couldn't hear or see the meter, the windshield measured forty-eight percent, which is pretty accurate. I mean it. You know, I have 50% tint on there. And then the side windows measured double zero. Um, like you said, he's like, the sides may cause me, um, they may hassle me in the future, but as of now, I'm gonna have to most likely get the windshield tint removed, which is a huge bummer. It's not really something I wanna do. Um, but it is what it is, it's not worth the $300 ticket. So, we got three cops here now for whatever reason. So, we'll see what happens when they come back. All right, so, after he said they weren't gonna give me a ticket if I get it removed, he gave me a ticket for $110, and then says, you know, just go pay the ticket, and you know, it's probably the best option uh, to remove it so you don't get hassled again. And I said, well, wasn't there an option where I can just go remove it and then you know, showcase that at the courthouse showing that I've removed the tent and everything's fine. And he goes, yeah, I didn't really think about that until you just asked. And I'm like, okay, so, I mean, I don't understand that, you know? They're gonna make me pay the ticket and remove the tent rather than just remove the tent. So it's just gonna cost me an extra hundred bucks. It's just, I don't know, I don't get that. It's just a, another stupid thing that the state gets money for. So I'm gonna have to, you know, pay the consequences and remove the tent. So, I don't know, that's absolutely absurd to me. Um, but yeah, tent laws are retarded. I've, I'm pretty sure I can get this form saying that I need the windshield tent for my eyes, so I'm gonna look into that. Um, so I'm, if I'm gonna pay the ticket regardless, I'm gonna see if I can keep the tent. I mean, might as well at this point. But if he didn't give me a ticket, then you know, it would be a no-brainer just to go remove the tent. Um, ball was kind of BS. I always thought to get hassled for tent, you have to be speeding or doing something wrong, which I was doing none of the above. And another thing I noticed is he said he couldn't see my hand on the steering wheel um, when I was driving up on him. Well, one, my hand wasn't on the steering wheel, it was on the bottom, so yeah, obviously he couldn't see my hand. And two, he was, I never approached him with him facing me. I came up behind him and he pulled out from pulling someone else over. So I don't know how he got a clear view of my windshield besides his rear view mirror, which right now I'm looking in my rear view mirror and I can't see crap on the other car's windshield because I don't know, just not really a, valid way to pull me over I'm not mad at all I don't like hate cops I respect cops because you know they're here to keep us safe and that's the whole thing they pull me over because having the tan on the windshield is a safety issue but it's just I don't know I just feel like 
there hassle me for no reason. You know, sometimes cops, they see like a nicer truck and they go, oh, you know, I'm going to pull him over and see what I can hassle him for. Which, again, I'm not trying to get at cops, but that's just the way I feel because just about every vehicle I've gotten pulled over in and, you know, they're not, I wouldn't say they're all, you know, luxury, but they're definitely nice trucks or Jeeps. But anyway, sorry, this is going to be a boring video. Um, I don't want to ramble on about cops. Because like I said, they are here for our safety. Um, I'm just slightly frustrated about the options it gave me. Um, anyways, guys, keep you posted on the truck build. Not too much going on right now. Hopefully, maybe, possibly get a turbo set up um, here in the next couple months. Um, but my dad just got a Jeep, so I'll definitely be doing a few videos on his. Um, it came... It's, it's a uh, 2017 uh, Wrangler JK U, so it's a four-door. Um, it's a sport edition. Um, what else does it have? It came with a hard top, um, but we just sold the hot, the hard top and got them the soft top with the slant back. Um, so that's pretty cool. The only bummer with that is it doesn't, it doesn't collapse all the way back like a regular soft top, so... It's kind of a hassle to get the whole thing off the truck, which is, I mean, sorry, off the Jeep, which is kind of a bummer, um, but it's convenient just to, you know, slip it on and off, like, um, just fold it back so you can have, like, a sunroof, I guess. Um, we're planning on ordering some wheels and tires and a lift for it. Um, bumpers have already been ordered, but they are on back order, unfortunately. But yeah, it's going to be a... A pretty decent build. Thinking about some 22 by 12s. Not sure what wheel yet. Um, we're gonna do the Nitto. I believe it's a 355, 355, 40. It's like a 30, 33 by 14. It's a real good looking tire, real wide and beefy. And then either a two and a half or a three and a half AV um, lift. With, um, I believe it comes with the Bilstein uh, reservoir shocks and it rides like a dream. So I'll keep you guys posted on that and probably do some videos on installs and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Hi, right, guys, just to show you the tent. It looks dark now because it's in the direct sunlight. If you look, you can see the dash clearly the front seats whatever anyways don't want to rant too long about this but just showing y'all really how dark it is it's really not as bad as the cops were making it seem see full dash you can see into the truck and that's with the sun glare but oh well